Managing the available electricity on a job is key to safe operation of drying equipment. Here are some power management basics that can really help. Find the amp draw of the equipment you're using so you can calculate the total equipment load against the power available. If you need help calculating the total equipment load, start with the NEC standard electrical load calculation found online. Per the NEC, do not load more than 80% of the circuit's capacity or you'll risk tripping the breaker or blowing the circuit. On a 15 amp outlet, use a maximum of 12 amps. For a 20 amp outlet, use the maximum of 16 amps. Dry East daisy chain capable units have onboard circuit breakers that will trip when more than a 12 amp load is present, including the unit's own amp draw. You can find the amp draw on most Legend Brands products serial labels and on our websites. Scan the QR code on newer Dry East equipment to access specifications and the manual from a smartphone. Or if you are a Nextgear Mika user, the info will load to the app. Some important basics apply to all electrical use. Inspect cords for fraying and damage. Don't use damaged cords or plugs. Make sure both cord ends are clean, dry, and free of debris. Do not leave cords wrapped on equipment while operating. It may generate increased heat and resistance in the cord. Always hold the plug while disconnecting cords from equipment or outlets. Yanking them from midway down the cord is a sure way to damage cords and plugs. It's worth taking the extra second to grasp the plug and prevent equipment downtime. And watch out for loose or worn out receptacles that don't hold the plug properly. Poor connectivity can result in power failure or equipment damage. Use only grounded plugs, those with three prongs. Ungrounded plugs have only two. A grounded plug must go into a grounded outlet do not use adapters. Homes built before 1960 may have non-grounded outlets, but it's not safe to cut off the middle prong of a grounded plug and stick it into a non-grounded outlet. Instead, bring in a generator or a portable electric box. For equipment that is UL, CSA, or ETL listed for safety, the moment you change something, swap a plug, add an extension cord, splice a wire, the safety rating ceases to be valid and you could be creating a hazardous situation. When damage is present, use only dry's replacement parts and service centers for repairs. Most Legend Brands equipment comes with an ample 15 to 25 foot power cord and many units daisy chain. The warning labels on most products caution against using extension cords given the risk they're not heavy enough gauge to avoid a hazardous situation. You'll need to identify what type of outlets are available to work with. A 15 amp outlet is the most common type found in residential homes and businesses, but 20 amp outlets may also be present. To quickly identify if any outlet is 20 amps, look for a horizontal slot branching off one of the vertical slots. A 15 amp or lower plug can be used in a 15 or 20 amp outlet, but a 20 amp plug can only connect into a 20 amp outlet. Also remember that multiple outlets often share a circuit. Look for a diagram on the electrical panel. When additional power is needed, it may be possible with a special power cord and plug to connect a power box into a 230 or 240 volt unused laundry or refrigerator outlet. Sometimes providing a generator may be the easiest and best option. A power box is considered the safest way to power equipment due to the unknown electrical condition of a home or business. Electrical costs may vary depending on the equipment and the location. When customers are concerned or want an estimate, Legend Brands has a helpful electrical cost calculator for its equipment on a spreadsheet that can be downloaded from our website. When on the job, remember, it's your responsibility to ensure equipment functions as efficiently and safely as possible.